he did. Also nicknamed Dynamite, but was, well, barely a party popper from Dyson Parodi by his own explosively high standards earlier on. A 6-1 defeat to Magnus Karis. That was the first Gibraltarian player we saw. Sorry, the second. Justin Broton had already been knocked out. Parodi joined him in being knocked out. Dylan Duo only got one leg against James Wilson. It is now down to Manuel Valerio and Anthony Lopez. And it wouldn't be the Gibraltar Darts Trophy without Manuel Valerio, the Lizard, competing in this for the fourth time in four years. However, it took him three years to win a leg. Beaten 6-0 by Dave Chisnell. Beaten 6-0 by Dean Wynn Stanley. Beaten 6-2 by Brian Woods Thank last and year. Gentlemen. First leg is Manuel to throw first. Game on. I'm Dan Dawson. Rob Malarkey joins me in the commentary box for this one. It's Valerio versus Johnson. The Lizard versus Dynamite for a place in round two. Well, I'm just wondering how Valerio can live up to his nickname Easy. if uh, Darren Johnson satisfies his side of the equation. Quite easy to do so. But I just wonder how Valerio can possibly live up to his nickname of the Lizard on the stage. Will he just cling to the wall at the end of the night? I think what happens is if he feels threatened, his tail will fall off and twitch at his distraction to any potential predators so he can make his escape. And he will run away and hide mm -hmm. under a, a crevice for yep. two weeks. I saw him out in the car park doing exactly um, that. Just had a minor query about Valerio's recent record. I thought the Woods defeat was two years ago and oh. he didn't play here last year. Oh, you may be right. You may be didn't right. Didn't qualify, 50. but yeah, three... Fairly emphatic defeats in the last four years. Chizzy 6-0, Win Stanley 6-0, and Brian Wood 6-2. Six uh, last year's qualifiers, we had George Federico, didn't we, of course? David Francis was the other qualifier, you as well as Lopez right. and uh, Dyson Parodi. We've not really had a George Federico moment yet this year, either, 140. Dan. 119 checkout against Alan Norris when he nicked the opening leg and then lost the next six. Yeah. Brilliant. But what a checkout it was. It was great. People still sing songs of that checkout. 81. You're right, of course, we didn't see Manuel Valerio last year. However, the point we is, we have seen him at the World Cup of Darts. We have. The last couple of years, partnering Dyson Parodi. And they did achieve Gibraltar's first 85. ever win at the World Cup. They beat the Italian team of Daniele Petri and Marco Brentagani. Well, Valerio here, well, he's looking at 140 that will not happen now so Johnson 60. with the chance of a break of throw in the very first leg Valerio did at least win the bull off behind closed doors just before the start of play here pursed lips from Johnson after that stray seven 41. But he squares it off nicely 80. now Valerio this could be his George Federico moments Maybe could be not. but it won't be 40 Darren, you require 60. Manuel Valerio actually gave Paul Nicholson a real scare in the World Cup of Darts that year. As Johnson <laughs> hits tops and now wants tens. Hit one double in this visit. No He's hit two, four. but they're neither of the ones he wants. Manuel, you require 40. Well. Johnson not settling in. Mind you, where has that gone? That's a bit closer. And no that's four. somewhere in between. Darren, you require 60. Oh, what a visit that was. Anyway, Johnson, part two here. This time he finds the fat 20. The first and leg. he finds Darren tops. Johnson. And he so leads the Lizard by first. one leg to nil. Uh, John Bowles and Steve West, the men Johnson beat in qualifying. West was uh, seeded two in qualifying, by the way. He beat him 6-5 in the final round. Yeah, good win that. Steve West playing some really good darts over the last 48. few months. Yeah, but uh, Johnson has been likewise. And prior to the first European tour of the uh, European tour event of the year Johnson was in great form he beat 85. five of the top 16 in the world in the space of a fortnight Dave Chisnell Raymond Van Barneveld Benito van der Pas and Michael van Gerwen in players championship four and it starts like that but enabled him to do it he then beat James Wade in the second round of the German darts championship trailed 5-1 55 and then turned the match completely on its head So a recent winner, one of the handful 50. of players to have beaten Michael Van Gerwen this year. It came in the semi-final of Players' Championship 4. Came yeah, through uh, Q School in January, of course. 80. It's quite astonishing, really, Darren Johnson's form this year because it just came out of nowhere, that run to the final. Never even 
threatened to make a 129. The man who goes back to Wigan every two years, like some sort of northern boomerang, just to get his tour card, because he's invariably not done enough to keep hold of it. But, you know, things may be changing. 40. Darren, Darren Jones. 194. Lovely, Darren. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Top stand for Johnson. That's a good guide. And Game there it is. The Two nil. Darren Johnson. Yeah, one of these players as well. well he's, Manuel to throw first. It Game took on. him a while to actually secure his first win on the European Tour. He qualified for the Dutch Darts Masters, the German Masters, the German Championship and the European 100. Open in 2013. But he fell at the first hurdle in every one of those. And he had uh, a couple of first round defeats last year as well before making the second round in Hildesheim at the end of the campaign. And then, of course, he returned to Hildesheim earlier this year and made the third round, losing to Ian White in the last 16. 60. Oh, sorry, beating, uh, sorry, losing to uh, Ian White in the uh, last 16. After that win over Wade. 108. And he's clearly in the groove here, Dan. He doesn't look too troubled, does he? Yeah, Darren Johnson making his move. 59. Valerio with that just rapid, wristy, almost spasmodic action. It's just 127. a real flick, jerk, all sorts of things going on there. Well, already it looks as though the uh, weight of a nation will be on the shoulders of Anthony Lopez, or at least the weight of a British overseas territory will be on the weight will be on the shoulders of Anthony Lopez. Valerio looks to be in a spot of bother here. Johnson, 14, will return. Well, Antonio Lopez is a man who has won on this stage before, albeit against a fellow Gibraltarian player. 99. Darren, you require 40. So it is a very jerky, snatchy movement from uh, Manuel Valerio. Darren that was anything but. That was nicely smooth. Well, it's Darren to throw first. Game on. Lopez faces uh, Dimitri Vandenberg in the final match of the night. The winner of this one to face Gerwin Price in the second round tomorrow. James Wade awaits the winner of the final match of this evening's session. 100. But this one could be over very quickly indeed. Yeah, James Wade, the only former champion in the field here this weekend. No Phil Taylor, of course. 85. He winds down his career. No Michael Van Gerwen. He just winds down for the weekend. And winds up to the Premier League playoffs. Mm. And another maximum. It's three and three legs two. for Darren Johnson. Oh. 36. Scattergun. Manuel Valerio. Two-time Gibraltar National Championship finalist. 140. 2015, lost to Dyson Parodi, made the final in 2015, lost to Dyson Perodi, made the final in 2013, lost to George Federico. Darren, you require 81. 81. Bullseye. Oh, he might just set it up. 49. With Valerio adrift on 259, there was no need to be too aggressive. We did see it earlier on today where. 85. Curious it was uh, Rob Cross, wasn't it, who went for the direct route to Bullseye when he didn't really need to. But anyway. Game shot on the fourth leg. Darren Johnson. Ultimately, it's a 13 dart leg for Darren well to throw I, first. Do, I do wonder why he's gone that route when he's decided to lay up anyway, because 81, he scores 19, leaves you 62. And he's gone for 12, which, had he hit the trouble mm. 12, it would have left him double 13, which seems a strange double to leave. Yes, having gone that route, why yeah. not then go for it? 140. Typically, you'd be looking at treble 10 for double 16. But to be honest, Darren, what route he has gone. 85. That first nine, an overall average from Darren Johnson, is enough to worry anybody. It's the best we've seen so far today. Steve Beaton averaged just under 100. But 140. Manuel Valerio is not even in the same league at the minute. 30 points behind on the averages. Look 43 on the first nine. 60. Gulf. Wider than the Strait of Gibraltar, that one. 60.
101. Well, he was thinking Daniel clearly. 161. Missed the big number, but saved in the end. Oh, hang on. <laughs> 122. Uh, it's still Lots a nice big visit, yeah. Lots of big trebles for Darren Johnson. Manuel Valeri, what a shot this would be. Come on. This would have been anything visit. George Federico oh. did. But not to be, which is a massive 60. save. Darren, you require 39. Seven, you suspect, just about. Come on, come on, he says, double eights. 31. Now then, Manuel, this is your opportunity. 98. The fight back starts here for the Lizard. Does it? It might do. It oh, does! 98 check out from Manuel Valerio. Valerio. Take like it's Darren to throw first. Game on. Not bad from the Lizard. Yeah, just found its way into that triple 18. Didn't 140. It? From that moment on, he had that momentum and he took out double 12. Very nicely indeed. Now then. 140. Oh, we have to see the real Manuel Valerio here. Ninety-six. Well, I don't think Johnson will be pressing any panic buttons just yet. No, he's still playing very, very well, and forty-one still appears to have a little bit too much from Manuel Valerio. But until the job is done, he's always going to be in a bit of bother. Ninety-five, 95 leaves the one seventy, and if his previous leg was anything to go by, then. Darren Johnson won't go for the ball, i will just look to lay up. The temptation must be there if the first two go in the treble 20. Got loads of room for another. <laughs> 100. Knocks a ton off to leave the 70. Manuel Valerio, ton 40. That's what he's wanted, and single five won't help. 45. Darren, you require 70. 20 for tops then. Oh, <laughs> he tops done again. It again. Double 10. 50. For the second time of the match, Darren Johnson looking to aim high in the 20 bed ends up hitting an accidental tops to leave double 10, but he's unable to find double 10. Look at this. Manuel. Oh, Valeria. Manuel. 140. Darren well, Aguard, 20. He's poised and ready just Getting in case, but leg. he's Darren denied Johnson. the opportunity. Johnson so finds the double Manuel 10. To throw first. Game on. And. He is very, very close now to setting up this meeting with Gerwin Price tomorrow. 45. And another Gibraltarian is about to hit the dust here. 60. Now then, just missing out on what would have been a fourth maximum. Giving himself a very realistic opportunity to get the job done 41. here and condemn Manuel Valerio to a 6-1 defeat as his countryman Dylan Duo suffered, as Dyson Parodi suffered this afternoon. Justin Broton has been the top performer of the Gibraltar players 56. so far today. He managed to get three legs off Matt Clark, but Clark in charge for most of that game. Can Anthony Lopez, the local copper here in Gibraltar, 83. turn it around for the host nation qualifiers? Because it does not look like Manuel Valerio is going to do it from here. 100. It doesn't look like Darren Johnson's going to let him, to be fair. He is still averaging in the high 90s, Johnson. Yeah, I mean, Johnson could have been up against the majority of players who've uh, appeared today on stage 60. and might have had uh, too much for them. I think the top two performers have been a couple of the veterans so far in action today. Steve Beaton and Darren Johnson. Beaton averaging 99.2. Johnson in a sort of 96 region at the moment. I mean, a pretty convincing display 57. from the Yorkshireman. And you require 80. And he looks 80 here to close it out. Tops, tops again. He's 
had a habit of finding socks with his first start when he didn't really want to, but uh, oh, well, he's messed yeah. this up completely. And Valerio, now this would be a story. Manuel Uruguay, 160. The Lizard stares down the 160 and hits a skinny five, and that might be curtains for Manuel 85. Valerio. Gary Johnson Uruguay wants 40. tops for a 6-1 win. And once again, he has to find double ten instead. Not there yet, Darren. And dynamite. Darren match. Johnson Darren does Johnson. live up to his name. It's a very eye-catching performance by the 50-year-old from Mexborough in South Yorkshire. Many will question the stand of the opposition, but let's face it, he could have been up against pretty much anyone today and he would have done the business. That was good figures all round from one of the veterans in the first round draw. Darren Johnson safely through with not too much fuss at the expense of Manuel Valerio. And Gibraltar's hopes now lie with Antony Lopez in the final match of the evening session against Dimitri Vandenberg. Johnson plays Gerwin Price tomorrow. That will be a very, very different proposition entirely. But for now, he is through. Vandenberg and Lopez on the way will grab a quick word with Darren Johnson and uh, Jacques Novak. Yeah. Uh, Darren.